Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my mini Steam streaming setup. So let's get started. Now, right before I went on vacation, I decided to set up a mini streaming PC with the Mini Forum 700, which is a decent computer and I'll leave all the specs over here, but to cut it short, it runs an AMD 3750. 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. So again, I'll leave a link on the top left for you guys on that. Now, all the setups that I've done before is actually on my gaming channel, which this is also a promo for that channel as well. Anything we talk about will be listed in that channel. That's including installing Steam, installing Epic, installing a bunch of launchers, like anything that has to do with Linux gaming is on that channel. Now, mainly what I did was install Ubuntu on the mini forums. Then I installed Steam. One of the applications that you must have or should have is Proton Up, which will allow you to install third party Proton based loaders for Steam. This way you could load a lot more games than what Steam provides. But with the Steam Deck being available, there's actually a lot more games made to be working on Linux. So that benefits us. Now, while I was on vacation, what I mainly played was a couple of games on here, Enter the Gungeon, as well as Tomb Raider. So I'm trying to finish up Tomb Raider from the new series, Tomb Raider, Shadow Tomb Raider, and Rise of Tomb Raider, or not in that order, but those are the main things that I am trying to play. So here's the top-down view of testing out all those games. So all you have to do once everything is connected, just go into your Steam link, and since I have it preloaded already, you can see all the games I have installed on my Linux box. I could just go into Tomb Raider and, whoops, hit play. It's gonna launch on the Linux box and it actually works really, really well. Let me see if I get the audio working over here. So there we have it. This is running off Wi-Fi, so it's not too bad, but you can actually, actually use this over the internet. Here we go. I'm just gonna continue the game that I was playing before. I was at a campsite. I'm only about four or five percent into the game. And look at this. This is streaming right off the box. And if I get closer to the fire. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth, Lara. you're alive! It's extremely smooth and it plays very well. Alright, so let's get out of this game and I'm going to show you a game where you might see some pixelation. So let me quit this. So the next game I want to show you guys is called Car X Drift Racing. This one has like full screen updates so it actually might be able to show you some pixelation that you might experience depending on your Wi-Fi connection or even games like this even on a WAN connection. I mean Wi-Fi connection. So I'm just going to drift off the first circuit. So you might be able to like catch some pixelation here, we'll see. Hmm, it's actually doing pretty well over here. I am terrible at this game right now. I only played, I think, two hours into this game. And I actually play usually with a steering wheel setup instead of a controller. So not used to all these changes. But yeah, as you can see, it's fairly smooth. And I'm playing a game that requires like a full screen update. All right, enough of that because I'm terrible at this, with the controller at least. Now, I also have games that is not installed through Steam working. So let me see, Art of Rally is one of those Linux games that I just had import into Steam. And 
you see how they, it doesn't show any information. It'll just show you like last played yesterday, but it doesn't show you anything else. That's because it's not a Steam game. And games like this also work very well. It just loads the Linux and then it allows your controller to work with this. And the reason behind this is because the control will work very well and also get the Steam interface if you need to chat with anybody. But let's do free roam. Here we go. You've probably seen this game on my channel quite a few times because I test this game a lot on Linux. You notice a pattern here. I like to play rally games. This game is a controller based game so it's a little bit easier to play when you do have a controller. And you can see it's actually fairly smooth. Full screen updates. Now to get back out of the menus and stuff, I could just hold the select and then you could end the game over here, stop game and they'll put you back into Steam. Sometimes it might do that because this is not a Steam game, so it might trap you in wherever it is, and this does happen. I also have another game called R-Type that is from GOG. It is a Windows game. This is actually installed through Lutris, and it also works. So basically all these games that I have are like controller support, and it works very well for uh, the Steam Link type of setup. Now, for me to get this working over the internet, what I'm going to do now is I'll just exit this, disable my Wi-Fi, so now I'm actually just on 4G or 5G, well, it's 4G right now, and I'm going to have low connection. But what I do is I have my wire guard connected to my house. I just call it LG because it's my LG phone. And then I should be able to get back into Steam Link because it'll connect through WireGuard, and it'll just notice that it's on a different IP. Well, the phone is going to be on different IP. So there we have. Um, it still detects everything. And I still am on my 4G, if you can see right there. And I'm going to hit start playing. It's going to connect. Now, because I have terrible connection right now um, for my uh, carrier, it is not going to be the best to play the games. You could even see some pixelation already. So I'm going to try something that is fairly easy to load, which is Enter the Gungeon. And you're going to see an icon on the bottom right. You see it's red. It flickers sometimes because that's the internet saying it's slow. So I'm going to do a quick start. Press Y. And there we have it. Over the internet. Pixelation game. Just see a yellow icon. That means it's, uh, it's slow. Whoops. I mean, for games like this, you're okay to play on a slower internet because the pixelation doesn't really bother you too much, but it does work. I'm actually on my 4G network. Oh, there you go, first lag. And there we have it guys, uh, playing right through the internet and also playing on Wi-Fi, they both work. I am super surprised at this setup that it works very well, even across seas, I was able to VPN in and play all my games. And surprisingly, the battery is really good. 
especially depending on your phone. You're not doing any work. You're just streaming the content into the phone. So I was able to get four or five hours nonstop of playing with this type of setup. So it worked out very well for me, including the fact that now I can install a lot more games that is not from Steam. That works as well. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions, hit me up on Discord or the comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, I feel it hurts.